name's Tim Roebuck and I'm here in Freetown, Sierra Leone on a uh, tropical morning, a big heavy storms overnight and we're just concluding a trip which I've had the pleasure and privilege of, of leading uh, around uh, Sierra Leone for a week and we've been able to go and see some of the projects and particularly the project that we've been working on for two years which is to completely build a school. Well, when we drove up to this uh, place called the Burma Four School, we could see in the distance some, you know, traditional uh, African little houses and uh, things like that. And then we saw this rather scruffy set of holes and with a ripped tarps on on top, those blue tarps that you see after mishaps and disasters and things everywhere on TV. And uh, so we thought, well, where's the school? And then as we got closer, <laughs> we realised that there was 300 plus kids sitting underneath these, uh, in the hot sun, underneath these ripped tarps. I think what uh, uh, really inspired us was right at the beginning, after we had had a, a, a tour of the school and seen all of the kids, you know, 75 to a class, maybe more, and no chairs and all this sort of thing, and no, no walls, let alone a roof. Um, the head teacher, who's quite a quite a character, and it's the same head teacher now, she had arranged for us to uh, have a little meeting, and she'd done her equivalent of a PowerPoint presentation. So we adjourned to the, the traditional African meeting place underneath a tree, just down the end of the, the little lane, and we sort of sat underneath this tree. All the kids came round, they did a big song, and she got them singing and talking and doing some recitals, and. Uh, explain quite passionately how these kids needed a school. The place where we were was not too secure. We had to transfer the, mm -hmm. the chairs at a secure place early in the morning, remove them, settle them according to classes. Mm -hmm. In the evening we had to pack them again. Sometimes they take it in tools, sometimes those who are energetic can take it on their head. <laughs> and we've had a long-standing relationship with the uh, uh, United Methodist Church here. And um, so we said to the bishop after seeing, uh, traveling around last time, where can we help? What can we do? And then he said, maybe you could build a school and of course we said what the reaction of the congregation when we got back from our first uh, mission trip to sierra leone and um, asked the congregation to help with uh, our idea of a project to build a school was overwhelmingly positive the congregation pitched in and participated in multiple fundraisers we did two saunters which is um, long walks, the first around uh, Manhattan and the other through boroughs of New York and they sponsored the walkers and raised money. Two years later, it was pretty much finished. you have done for us and for our children well I don't know really how to say it but it is very great and we will ever remain thinking of you <laughs> thank you very much